Hello, um, in this video, you are going to learn all the possibilities that the analyze section offers within the do finder control panel. Here, you can find all the information regarding your visitors use of your search engine. We're going to dive into the different sections. And at the end of this video, you will know how to get the most out of the analyze features so that you can make the best decisions for your e-commerce. The analyze section is divided into searches, facets, and real time. Let's begin with the first section, search stats. The first thing that you'll notice is that you can differentiate between searches done by desktop or mobile users, or you can also group both together in the all tab, which is the default option. The default filtered period is for the last 15 days but you can modify it by selecting 30, 60, and up to a maximum of 90 days. If you need more backlog history, the 360 day stats add-on is going to help you a lot. In these top graphs, you will be able to find three main search KPIs, which will help you determine the influence of your search engine in your online store. From left to right, you will see the total number of searches and at the bottom of the box, you have the number of searches that have been carried out per session. Next is the click-through rate obtained by dividing the number of searches by the number of clicks that you can find below the graph. You will also be able to see the clicks per session. And finally, your conversion rate and the total number of sales made in the specific period by the people who search. To configure the conversion rate and to see the number of sales in this graph, it's as simple as clicking on the gear at the bottom right corner of the box and entering the order confirmation URL of your online store. Below those three graphs, you can see that same information, but grouped daily. Now we're going to dive deep into your search statistics and cover up some of the most important points. Top searches, top clicked products, top opportunities, and searches with no results. Top searches refers to the most searched terms in your store. And if you click on any search term, you can see it's CTR in the drop-down menu, along with the five most click products from the search. At the bottom, you have the previews and next buttons where you can turn a page and see more search terms. In top clicked, you can see the most clicked products. And if you click on it, which keywords have generated those clicks? Notice here that there is an entry for no terms. This means that people have clicked on products before performing a search. This can be the case when clicking on suggestions or featured products shown as soon as the search box is clicked or through the mobile version of the layer that displays results before performing any search. Top opportunities are searches where they do find their algorithm doubts whether it is showing the correct results or not, since the match is not exact between the search term and the indexed content. You should review the search terms in the playground section and see what results are being shown. That way you will be able to correct them if necessary using tools such as synonyms or custom results. Finally, the no results graph. These are searches that have been made in your search engine and that have returned no results. You can get a lot of ideas from this table, not only from product searches, but also from searches related to payment systems, returns, or doubts that your users may have. You can also choose to display alternative products from your catalog for certain searches that are not returning results. All the terms that you will find both in the no results and the top opportunities tables will allow you to correct anomalies, detect business opportunities like products that you do not sell but people are looking for, and even get keywords that you can use for your SEO and SEM campaigns. In the following section within the Analyze block, you will see facets. In this section, you can see the most used facets or filters. 
You can differentiate between searches through desktop, mobile, or you can also group them in the All tab. You can filter by dates, weeks, months, or customize the period you want to see. Below, you have a graph where you can see, according to the facets or filters that you have configured, the most relevant and popular brands, colors, or categories. If you go down a little, um, you can separate which searches have been carried out when filtering by that facet. Let's go to the last part within the Analyze section, Real Time. This is a section very similar to Stats, but with a very important difference. Instead of filtering by days or months, it allows us to filter by the last 5, 10 or 15 minutes. You have the top clicked searches, top opportunities and no results uh, tabs. You can see this data based on people who are searching in real time. This feature is very useful for campaigns such as Black Friday, exceptional days, or moments where you plan to have a lot of traffic in your online store. In the map below, you can identify the exact location where searches are coming from. Thanks to all these data, you will be able to make the best decisions based on the real world behavior of your customers. I hope this has been helpful to you and should you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our website.